In T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What's going on YouTube and welcome to BAMS! You sexy sons of fucking bitches. I'm kinda excited because I finally fucking graduated. School is done and over with. That little fucking journey that I took when I was, what, five, six years old is now at a fucking end. <laughs> Now today I want to talk about a nice subject that is quite near and dear to my heart, torture. And this subject is quite near and dear to my heart because it inflicts pain. People think of these fucking weird ass ways to hurt other people to get what they want. I mean it's really quite bizarre. I mean the, the, quite the, some of the extent of these that I've actually read over are just so fucked. Like who thinks of shit like this? I found three that really stood out to me and they were just, oh they were just so fucking gruesome. So, number one, scallopism. There's a chance I may not be saying that quite right. What it involves is that you take an individual and you put him in between two makeshift canoes and you sit him out in stagnant water. Before you do this, you put honey and milk all over the appendages that are sticking out these little weird ass canoes. And you gotta think, you got your head, your two arms, and your two legs extended. What happens is that insects come and do what insects do. Whatever by bugs and insects and wasps and what the fuck ever else comes to the size of fuck with you. They, they burrow in the skin and they're eating and laying eggs. And to make matters worse, you're in between these two canoes. You can't fucking move and you're getting just fucked up by insects. You're then force fed a combination of milk and honey to give you dysentery. For those of you that don't know what fuck dysentery is, it's an extreme case of diarrhea basically. It's where you just shit yourself over and over and over again in this little weird ass boat, in this little weird ass pond. And the time frame can be anywhere from a couple of days, a couple of weeks, to a couple of fucking months. Because what can happen is that people that put you in the fucking boat in the first place can come back and force feed you food to keep you alive, to keep you shitting on yourself. Fuck that. Stay in school kids. And number Something called the Glasgow Smile, also referred to as the Chelsea Grin. When they want to get information out of someone, they'll tie them up in a chair and they'll get razor blades. And they'll cut each corner of their mouth up to an inch. Once the person is clearly cut, tied up, they start to beat the hell out of this person, causing the person to flinch and moan and complain and bitch and cry, but more importantly, scream in agonizing pain. Because once they manage to get them to start screaming, the inch cuts on each corner of their mouth begins to rip and tear and make their way up to the bottom of the earlobes, causing the person severe scarring. Once the scars heal, of course, you always have a smile, causing you to always be smiling. Whoever came up with that one was just... Ugh. They watch their hand. Bleh. They 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 hurt people just to hurt them. Bleh. And drum roll, please, for number three. Yay! It's kind of fucked up. This one is really kind of brutal. The person that is just fucked in this kind of situation gets a tire full of gasoline put over them and light the bitch on fire. And then you have to sit there and burn to death while listening to the cheers and the laughter of the people that lit it in the first place. Ever laugh without smiling? <laughs> okay, anyway, so what do you guys think? I mean, tell me in the comments below. You think those three were the most gruesome torture methods ever devised? Or do you personally have one that can actually beat one of those three? If so, leave it in the comment section below. And if it does beat any of the three that I've described today, I will come back on next week's vlog and tell you one I personally designed myself. Let me know. Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace, and uh, I'm out.